Midnight at Grand Refair, and a giant leatherback turtle is nesting. One by one, the white eggs fall into a hole dug almost two feet by a creature that often travels half the world to create a new generation. It's a peak of the nesting season, and two beaches in northeast Trinidad, Matura and Grand Refair, are prohibited from 6 in the evening to 6 in the morning. Grand Refair in particular sees the highest density of turtles in the world, and each night they're coming in fast numbers. Richard Phillip is a tagger and beach patrol officer. We get sometimes three, four hundred turtles per night. As we made our way across the beach, we had to step gingerly. The beach was so crowded with turtles, we encountered one every five steps we took. With hundreds of turtles coming up to the Grand Reef Fair beach every night, it's reputed that this is the number one spot in the world to view the leatherback turtle. What happens is that so many turtles come up to dig for spots to lay their eggs that they sometimes dig up where other turtles have already laid. And what you get on the beach is a number of littered eggshells throughout Grand Reef Fair. But it has not always been this way. Not many years ago, Grand Reef Air was seeing sometimes only four turtles per night. The turtles here was almost extinct. You know, and now it's increasing gradually because the beach is prohibited, it's protected, you know. And the turtles are feeling, are convert, they're feeling safe. So safe, one even launched an assault on our interview. What's the call? In fact, this one was attracted by the light of the camera, the patrol told us. He says they usually get confused, thinking the light is the way home, but we helped guide him back to the shoreline and soon she was gone. Okay. Many of the turtles are tagged to help the authorities track how far they go when they leave our shores. Stainless steel tags with specific information are fastened onto them while they're nesting on the least fleshy parts of the fins, and it's been found they do travel very far. From Trinidad, Madagascar. The entire nesting process takes about two hours from their arrivals on shore to their departures. It takes a further 60 days for the eggs to hatch. This one just dug up by another turtle, already in its embryonic stage. Five hours later, the sun rises at Grand Reef Fair, and just about a dozen of the hundreds that came up during the night are still on shore. With time ticking away as they sense the heat, we watched this massive turtle struggle for over half an hour to get back to sea. The large holes and sinks had made crossing the beach a laborious task, but eventually she made it out to sea for a journey of thousands of miles. One by one, the others re-entered the water, each having done her part in sustaining the life of the species. One strayed into the river but was given some assistance to get back out to sea. But thousands would not make it out of here alive. The sunlight a blessing for these cobbles that find the Grand River to be a feasting ground for those eggs that were accidentally dug up. Andy Whitewell is a tour operator on the beach. The sheer number of turtles coming here are so significant, he believes it represents a huge proportion of leatherback turtles around the world. Last year they counted 24,000 nests on this beach. And if you say on average maybe 100 eggs, which is probably a bit high, but you're talking over 2 million eggs on this beach last year. The process repeats itself every night until August when the nesting season ends, by which time Grand Refair would again have played a major role in the world's ecological system.